Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the follow along workouts with Body Magic. Can't wait to get stuck into these. This is a new type of training that I'm offering on the site. Uh, I'm really, really excited to get everyone on board. So how this is going to work is I'm going to be working out with you. You're going to follow along with this video. We're going to do a bit of a combination of some weight stuff, some cardio to finish. They should only go for about 20, 25 minutes, absolutely max. We're going to have a heap of fun with them. Let's get into it. Here we go. Workout one. Alrighty, the first workout that we have of this program, we've got chest and triceps. So all you're gonna need is a bench and you're gonna need some dumbbells. I've got two different sizes here, but if you've only got one at home, no problem. We're just gonna go for a few extra reps, okay? Uh, we're gonna go for three sets of 10 on a chest press to start off with. So a chest press, we're gonna be sitting on your bench. If you don't have a bench at home, use the floor, right? Lay down on the floor. And from this spot here, we're gonna have our uh, dumbbells out with your elbows up, a wide, sorry, I should say, meeting the dumbbells in the middle and Elbows all the way back down to where your shoulders are again. There we go, meet them in the middle just like that. Perfect, so we're gonna go for 10 reps. Get cranking your 10 reps out now. Absolutely no rush to them. Just see the pace that I'm doing them at. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. I've lost count already, I was talking too much. I think that was seven, eight, so there we go, good work. We'll hit your 10. If you have got really light weights at home, right? So like even for me, like this is, you know, it's so, you know, relatively challenging. I can feel a bit of a burn in there for 10 reps. If you're able to do more, absolutely do more. Go for like 15 reps, go 20 reps, whatever. We're gonna have a bit of break in between here anyway. So get your reps done, good work. So just again, the teaching points for the next set, rest up when you're good. We'll be laying on back down, keeping your, uh, your elbows out nice and wide. We're getting those dumbbells so they meet you in the middle, not quite touching because if you clang them, they sort of go everywhere and they sort of throw you off balance a little bit, but elbows down, straight on up there, working your chest, cool. Alrighty, let's get into set number two. Here we go, let's get the next one up. Have a lay on down, get your elbows out. Let's meet those dumbbells in the middle over the top of your chest. Let's get your 10 reps out, here we go. There's two, beautiful, nice and slow, nice controlled. Three, lovely. There's four, bang the 10, we got this, here we go. There's fives, halfway through, doing really well. And again, if you've got those lighter weights and you can pump some extra reps out, do. Sevens, looks good. Eight's very nice. I did some chest stuff yesterday. I'm feeling that. There's nine. Good work. And ten. Bloody beautiful. Excellent job. Chuck those weights down. We've got one more set that we're going to do. Have a drink if you need. Good work. Looking really, really good. So the reason why we do the weights uh, before we do any of the cardio stuff is because your cardio, after doing your cardio stuff, your body will be quite fatigued. And we want to do um, the exercises that require the most control first up, when you're fresh, when you're buzzing, when you're motivated, when your muscles aren't fatigued, so you can do them well. Uh, and especially if we're doing weights, that you can push the heaviest weight that you possibly can. All right, here we go, we've got chest press. Last one, third set, let's finish this one off. And that's our first exercise done. Here we go, there's twos, good work. There's threes, nice work. Get your tens out, we got this. Fours, looking good. Five to go, last five, clanging and banging. Getting those titties growing, here we go, here we go. There's eights, lovely work, two to go. There's nine, one more, and 10. Bloody beautiful, if you're doing a few more reps, do your few extra, fantastic work, really, really good. That's our first one done, all right? Uh, the second exercise we've got, these are called middle pushes. These are again for your chest. So um, you might wanna have, a, if you've got a few different size dumbbells at home, get a little bit lighter. Um, but if you've only got the one size, that's fine, see how you go. So this one here, we're gonna again lay down, either on the floor or on the bench. This time, instead of having the dumbbells separated, we're gonna actually have them together, cool? And see how my elbows aren't pointed out like the chest press, they're staying nice and tucked into my body like this, right? We're gonna bring it on down, right to the center of your chest, elbows in and pushing on up there, okay? And you almost wanna push the dumbbells into each other. We're gonna go for 10 reps, by the way, again, get started. Pushing the dumbbells in towards each other, almost like, yeah, push them up against each other to get that rep up. Keep those elbows tucked in. We've got five, I've got five more reps. Get your 10 out, six, good work. And you'll feel a little bit of shoulder with this one as well. And a little bit of tricep as, as well, which is really, really nice. We should get into some triceps after this one. Good work, finish your first set. Bang, good job, excellent. Looks good. Have a chill, finish off your set, nicely done. Great, we've got two more of these sets, then we're gonna get into some skull crushes. Good work. So. Um, the, uh, the splits that I've got for these workouts, we do like chest and tries one day, we're gonna do legs your next workout, we're gonna go bars and back the one after, uh, and then we'll go shoulders with some cardio in each one as well. So the reason why we do that 
is that you can train back to back days because when your chest and triceps, which might be sore from today's workout, you won't require them for your leg one. All right, let's get another set in of the middle pushes. Let's hold those dumbbells together. Let's get them banging them up and down. Let's get your 10 out, here we go. Here we go, Susie, let's go Ryan, let's go buddy. Uh, ben Beck, everyone that's out there. I have to learn everybody's name that signs up to these and I'll give you a shout out for all of these. Five to go, here we go. Good job, six, seven, get your tens. Eight looks bloody excellent. Nine, nicely done. And 10, great job, good set, good second one, really nice. Finish off your set, do your extra reps, do whatever you're gonna do, great work. We got one more of that, fantastic. To finish the second exercise, good work. So like I said, the middle pushes, they're so working a little bit more of a, the middle of your chest and you feel a little bit more shoulder involvement than when you're just doing the regular chest press. Um, so that's the difference between the two. Alrighty, let's get our last one up. Here we go. One more set for these middle pushes. We're gonna do some skulls. And then we got cardio, oh God. Here we go. Pop them up, get your 10, here we go. Twos, looks great. Threes, beautiful. Fours, lovely work. Five, clanging and banging, doing well. Sixes, seven, beautiful work. Eights. Nine, last one, and 10, excellent, really good. Great job there, guys. Very, very nice, good work. So that's the uh, middle pushes all done. The next one we got, we got skull crushes. So I'm gonna go three sets of 10 of these ones as well. These ones are for your triceps, cool? So that muscle in your back of your arm here. So uh, grab your lighter dumbbell. Uh, we're gonna be laying on down on the bench or the floor, whatever you got. Pop your arms up straight. And uh, if we can just get a bit of a close up on my elbow here, ready? So my elbow, it's all in the elbow, ready? Nice and slow on the way down. We're gonna make a 90 degree with your arm and then we're pressing on back up just like so. Cool. And that's making sure that we're not using any shoulder. We're using just tricep. You can get your, uh, your set started whenever you're ready. Go for your 10, nice and slow. Making sure that this thick part of your arm, your upper arm is staying really, really still. We get that good hard burn on. I think I bit off a bit more than I can chew with these 10 kilos, far out. They're stinging, oh my God. Up there, let's go, we've got two more, last two, get you two. Good job, finish your set out. And done, beautiful work. Nicely done, ooh, they burnt and also did them yesterday, ow. Good job, we've got two more sets of those ones. So yeah, your triceps, um, I call them, they're called your horseshoes, right? Because your tricep muscle, if you, if it's all popping and all nice, it makes that little nice little horse uh, horseshoe bloody shape back there. So if I say horseshoes, I mean triceps. Let's go another one. Your triceps are a smaller muscle as well. So uh, that's why we do them after doing the chest press stuff. You don't wanna do, and fatigue, let's do your next set. You don't wanna fatigue all your small muscles before uh, you're doing, or you've completed all your compound stuff, all your big moves to your workout, because they're just gonna make it harder. We wanna make sure those big moves are done right, because they require the most control. Six, holy fuck, this is burning. Here we go, seven, get them up there. Eight, good work. Nine, one more. Come on, Jared. 10, beautiful, excellent work. Give yourself a little second before we do this last set. Um, so how the cardio stuff is gonna work once we finish this last set of skulls, we're gonna go 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off for three rounds, and we've got four different exercises, which we'll go through in just a second. Let's bang out this last set of the skulls, and that's all our weights done for this first workout. How bloody good. Nice work, let's get those tries pumping all the way down so it's 90 degrees, making sure your, uh, your elbows are staying in line with where your shoulders are. We don't want any shoulder involvement. We want just your tricep, that big juicy muscle on the back of your arm there. It's the only one we want working, good work. I always get this little foot tap going on whenever I'm doing these ones as well. I think that's eight, here we go. Let's get two more out, banging them out, get your 10. And lovely work, fantastic, good job. Hey, that's the weights all done, really well done. So what we're gonna need to do, we're gonna need a little bit of space now. So get rid of uh, your bench or your weights or whatever. Chuck these out of the way. A nice little open space for these. We're just gonna hit some body weight bits and pieces. Get those weights out of the way. I've had enough of you. All right, so we're gonna get a timer on. We've got 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We've got body weight squats, right? So body weight squats, these ones here. We're gonna go toe taps, your second one. Uh, toe taps are legs out nice and wide. And how I teach this one here is you wanna to touch the same points on the ground, right? So just pretend there's a little dot on the ground. That's what you're touching over your toes. So we're touching here and then we're gonna jump this way Foot in that spot, touch the same spot. We're gonna jump back this way. Foot in the same spot, tap the same spot, great. What you don't wanna do though, just don't have your back like this, all curvy, we don't want that. We wanna keep your chest up, we keep your lower back 
uh, nice and straight and get this leg that's going on the outside, tapping the same point, and get that really uh, wide on that one there. So that's the toe taps. We've got sit-ups, if you've got a mat, I'll get my mat. Forgot that, sorry. We've got uh, sit-ups on the uh, ground, up like this, chest and knees. Uh, and then we've also got mountain climbers, which we'll flip on over in like a static push-up position. And we're getting our knees crossing on over our body like so. Cool. All right, here we go, 30 seconds of body weight squats. Let's get them banging them up. Here we go. So with the squat, what you want to do is we want to make sure that all the force is going through your heel. You want your butt to be parallel to the ground. Try to get down to at least 90 degrees and we're working your legs. Keeping your lower back nice and straight and your chest up the whole time as well. If you're struggling with depth, bring your toes out a little bit wider and you'll be able to get down a little bit further. Good job, we got another four seconds. Three, two, and relax, 15 seconds off, good work. Uh, next one, we've got toe tap. So, like I said, tapping the same point on the ground, hopping, keeping your leg out nice and wide, and keep tapping that same point. All right, here we go. Three, two, let's bloody rumble. Here we go, tapping the same point. There we go, good job. Same point on the ground. Lovely work. Getting this leg out really nice and wide, tapping that same point, keeping your lower back nice and straight, chest up the whole time. Looks really good. Oh, these ones tickle the hammies at the back there, don't they? Here we go. I always regret putting half these exercises in whenever I get into doing them. Good job. It's all right when I tell you guys to do them. Five to go, here we go. In threes, twos, and one, relax. 15 seconds break, enjoy. We've got sit-ups next one, so down on your mat. We're gonna have your feet flat on the ground. We'll be laying down. We wanna get your chest all the way up to your knees. If your back or your range of motion is no good, you can't quite do it, just give me crunches, all right? Let's go. 30 seconds worth, all the way up, all the way down. Keeping your feet on the ground, knees bent, and get your chest all the way up to your knees. Here we go, and like I said, if you're struggling uh, with your range, if you can't quite get up that far, or your back hurts, just give me these crunches, either there or there. Good job. If you wanna make this sit up extra hard, pop your hands over your chest. Get them up like that, oh yeah. That tickles a little bit extra fierce, that one does. Good work, threes, two, relax, wonderful work. Excellent job, we've got uh, mountain climbers. Why'd I get up? I have to go back down again. Here we go, mountain climbers. We're gonna go like a static push up position and we're gonna cross your knees uh, to your opposite elbow like so. Cool. Alrighty, let's do them, here we go. Cross those knees over. I want your knees up nice and high, putting your feet uh, just in the same position as where you started. And you don't want your bum up in the air. I'm gonna keep it down nice and low like you're doing a plank and keep crossing them on over the body. Climb that mountain, here we go. Didn't know there was mountains in Belmont where I'm filming this at the moment, but there you go. 10 to go, last 10, work here, 10. Get those up there. Job guys, doing well. This will be the end of the first round after this. Threes, two, and relax. Fantastic, 15 break, good work, quick mouthful. We've got body weight squats for our second round, good work. Two more rounds to go and we're done. Good stuff. Good blowout, this first one, looking good. All right, here we go. Threes, two, squatting. Here we go, let's get them up. Rain this 30 seconds. Like I said before, if you're struggling with the depth, pop your toes out a little wider. They'll let you get down a little bit further. Good job. Looking really good, keep banging out these legs. Keep the fry on, keep the burn on. Let's keep them going, good work. Oh, I'm huffing and puffing, I tell you that. Keep them hitting them out, doing really well. We're absolutely crushing this workout though. Doing that well. Katie, Susie, Becky, Austin, whoever's following along at home, doing really well. And relax, good job, nicely done. Toe taps, next one. Tapping the same point on the ground. Get your leg out nice and wide. Let's get those hammies frying up, good work. Doing really well. Alrighty, let's do them. Three, two, and tapping them, let's go. There we go right now, nice and wide. Keeping that lower back up, back up. Lower back straight, chest up. Be weird trying to keep your lower back up, then how you do that. 20 to go, nicely done. Keep tapping the toe, tap the toe, tap the toe. Just tap it in. Doing great. Nicely done guys, keep tapping those out. We've got 10 more, last 10. Hit that 10, keep your lower back straight, chest up, working those hammies. Getting the heart rate up, beautiful. Three, two, done baby, good job. Uh, sit up, down on the ground, let's do them. Alrighty, we've got our feet flat on the ground. And we wanna get our chest all the way up to our knees. Good work. Here we go. Let's see them. Let's get those abs popping 
if we can't quite get the sit up, the crunches are no problem. And we'll build our way up over the next few weeks. Good job. To make them extra tricky, pop those hands over your chest. I don't particularly want to make them extra tricky. I've got to film a few of these workouts today. So fuck that. Keep going. Good work, guys. Let's finish this second round. Doing really well. We've just got mountain climbers to go. Well, one more round. We're bloody done. How good is that? Day one of the new program finished. And nailed it. Fantastic. Stay down on the ground. Flipping over. We've got those mountain climbers to go. Good job. Oh, gassing. This is good, bud. That's what I need. What I need. Let's see him. Here we go. All right, threes, two. Let's get ripping them up. Let's get crossing on over. Knees to opposite elbow. That's awesome. Good work. Making sure we're leaning on over. Our uh, arms here, our shoulders. No butts out in the air. Let's keep them back down. Do I see a butt in the air? Get your bum down. Get, down. get them a bit faster. Come on. Let's get them cranking out. Good job. Keep those pumping. Knees to opposite elbow. Feet where they started. Keep your butt down. Everything nice and straight. Keep the breathing under control. Here we go. Three, two, beep. Done. Good job. We've got one more round. Good job. Uh, we've got squats. Let's go. Let's finish this off. Get a quick mouthful. Couple of seconds. We can do a lot in a few seconds. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Threes, two, squatting. Bang. Good job. Let's get these up. Last round. Let's bang this out. When you break it down, we've got two minutes of work and we're done. How good is that? We can enjoy the rest of the day without me. How good. Except for me, I have to deal with me all day. Keep going, let's go. Keep banging them out. 15 to go, last 15. Hit that 15. Oh yeah. Whew. Really hitting that in that third round, isn't it? Hits different. Banging them up, that's good. We've got five more seconds, ready? Threes, twos, done baby. Good job. Toe taps, one more round, good job. I don't think I've put any of these four in the next few workouts, I don't think. So uh, thank God for that. These toe taps suck dick. These are not good. Here we go, ready? Three, two, we're on, let's go. Good stuff, keep tapping those toes. Keep following along, keep tapping them. Doing really well, let's keep up that pace. I know we're gassed, but we're almost there. I'm feeling, I, I'll be honest, I feel your pain. Let's get these toe taps out of the way. Keep tapping the same point on the ground. Get that leg out nice and wide. Good job. Lower back straight, chest up, and hit these out. We just got sit-ups and climbers to go to finish off this workout. How bloody good. We've done that well. Threes, two, done. Great job on the ground. Let's finish this off. Two to go, home stretch. We've got some sit-ups or crunches, whatever you're doing. Let's get these done. Couple of breaths on the floor. Contemplate why the fuck we're we doing this. All right, here we go, let's get them up. Here we go, we're back in the room. Let's do it. Many as we can. We've only got this one and some climbers to go and we're bloody out of here. How good. Keep cranking them up. Get that chest all the way up to your knees. Keep your feet flat and cemented on the ground. You're doing the crunches, you keep crunching away. You're doing that well. Oh yeah. Let's go, we've got 10 to go. Got money back guarantee if you don't have abs today. No, I'm joking, I couldn't do that, ruin me. Keep going, let's go, keep them up. Just keep going, you sit up. Threes, good work, twos. And you're done. Fantastic, good job. One more, we've got mountain climbers and we're done. It's our first workout done of the follow-alongs. How good is that? Alrighty, let's get, absolutely give it. Let's just go 15 cruisy like what we have been and the last 15, absolutely give it to me, all right? Good job. Just what we're doing for the first 15, making sure your feet are going down to where they started. We're getting that knee to opposite elbow. Keep your butt down, feel those abs crunch. Here we go. All right, last 15, turn it up. Go, go, go. Sorry about the heavy breathing into the microphone. Keep them pumping, let's go. Come on, real fast. Last 10, give it double time, the last 10. Go, go, go. Great job. Counting down in threes. Good work, twos. Oh, done. Oh, hey guys, fantastic first workout of these follow-alongs. Really, really good. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, chest and triceps all done. We're gonna hit legs tomorrow. Uh, same format, a little bit of weight, a little bit of cardio to finish off. I'll see you then. Great work. Have a good rest of your day.